The topic of this video is building and analyzing functions. One of the most important things that a college student can learn to do is to go out into the world, observe things that can be measured with numbers, use variables to represent those things, and then build and analyze functions that show the relationships among various quantities. We are going to explore two primary problem types in this section. The first will be measuring the distance from a fixed point to a varying point using the distance formula. The second will be using a function equation, specifically its graph, and a point on that graph to create a geometric shape, such as a rectangle or a triangle, and find the relationship between the location of the point on the graph and the geometry of the shape provided. All right, so let's look at a very brief description of how we will solve each of the problems of those two types. First, finding the distance from a fixed point to a point on a function. To solve problems like that, plug the given point and the point x comma y into the distance formula, replace y with whatever it is equal to in the given equation, and simplify. Here is a problem of that type. The most important part of which is, if p is the point x comma y on a function y equals the square root of x, express the distance d from p to the point 1.75 comma 0 as a function of x. To solve a problem of that type, you'll follow these directions. The other type of problem is where we are given a function, and that function has a point on it, and that point is used to create a geometric shape. Here's a quick example. The blue function is provided. This point on the blue function represents the upper right-hand corner of a rectangle. The origin is the lower left corner of the rectangle, and therefore the location of this point determines the dimensions of the rectangle, such as, for example, its area. To solve problems of that type, here's how you do it. The point x comma y of the function will be a point on a geometric shape. If that shape is a rectangle, then the area of that rectangle is length times width. And since length is x, a horizontal measurement, and width is y, a vertical measurement, we will use the formula a equals length times width, a equals x times y. But if that shape is a triangle instead, then the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. Again, the base is x, the height is y. So we're gonna use the formula area equals half base times height, area equals one half x times y. Whether you're dealing with a rectangle or a triangle, you're going to replace y with whatever it is equal to in the given problem and then simplify.